dog training. And um, we decided to do this because I got a new dog and um, thought maybe I should uh, do get some information on training. And um, so Jess, who has two dogs, and I talked and we thought, well, this would be a good program. So um, we're going to, um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Janine Brennan. I'm the interim library ma manager at Ake Harbor. And this is Jess. Jess is the building manager. And Morgan, she is our communications person for Door County Libraries. We have Jill here today, who's uh, shows her dogs, so she'll be talking a little bit about that. And TC, who um, just got a new dog. So uh, we're a nice small group, which is good. This will be uh, uh, recorded and put on Facebook, and people like to watch after, and um, and then they jump in occasionally while we're on, which they probably aren't going to do today. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to... Um, share my screen here. Okay, you have to let me share my screen, Jess. Oh, sorry, sorry. There you go. All right. Okay, so. Let me stay here. Why are you gonna go? All right, so um, I decided um, I needed some help after getting Alfie. Uh, he's really good. I mean, I, I, I won the lottery for a rescue dog because he's, he's three and he's, he's almost perfect. Um, there's a couple of commands he doesn't know. And um, so I thought I needed to do a, a little research because with this quarantine, we can't have dog training or um, go anywhere, go to the dog park or anything. I, I even went to the dog park and there's a big lock on the, on the, uh, the gate. So don't go to the dog park. <laughs> oh, the village is in the process of reopening it oh, um, okay. now with proper signage. So oh, it good. should be open soon. Okay. So yeah, cause I think that's uh, important uh, for uh, a dog to uh, socialize. I had a dog uh, for 17 years and he wasn't really into being social. So I wanna make sure that Alfie is social. Um, so I went on to um, our Hoopla site. And if you don't know what Hoopla is, it's an app that you can get um, from the library. Um, and um, through Door County Library, Hoopla allows you to get uh, lots of resources. And I'm gonna show it to you now. And um, Jill, are you a Hoopla user? No, I've never heard of it. <laughs> okay. TC, are you a Hoopla user? I've never heard of it either. All right. Ooh. Well, um, maybe you'll be Hoopla users <laughs> after this. So um, I looked up dog training. And um, what Hoopla is, it um, allows you, as a Door County library user, to check out five items. The five items that you can get are audiobooks, movies, music. Like I listened to Hamilton before I went to see Hamilton. I didn't oh. buy it, so I got the um, the CD from there. Ebooks, TV. Um, I they have a lot of British. I love British TV shows. So there's a lot of uh, British uh, television shows. So um, put any topic in and. Um, you'll see there's lots uh, on there. Uh, so you can play around with it after um, today. But it's uh, Hoopla Digital. You just get the app, put it on your tablet or your iPhone, uh, or go to your computer, hoopladigital.com, and you register with your library card and your PIN. If you need your library, or if you need your PIN, uh, just let us know and we can help you get that. Uh, Morgan can help you get that. <laughs> so, um, so I went and I looked up dog training and there were 65 results for dog training. Now look at right here, it says ebook. These Hang are on, all um, I think that you wanna share a different screen because we just see gray right now. Oh no, all right. 
I have been talking this whole time and you haven't seen what I was talking about? There was something on the screen just for a minute. Oh, well, no, your slideshow was working and then it turned gray. So maybe just pull up Hoopla. Okay, Wait, here, here you go. All right, I thought I was showing you Hoopla. So Hoopla has all of these. It has audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebook, and television. And so, if you have a if you have an Apple TV or a Roku, you can actually use the Hoopla app on on your on your TV, which is kind oh. of cool. And yeah. okay. I've also found out that you can do Chromecast as well if you have nice. a smart TV. And I do because I have a real I have like the the original Apple TV. And so what I do is I screen share. So I watch on my smart TV. Um, I, I, as I said before, I'm really big into uh, a British television shows. So uh, you just go to television, you put in your uh, search and uh, you get five items a month. So I'll show you in a minute what I've checked out. But these are the dog training resources. And you'll see most of them are eBooks. And there's 65. So the best way to narrow the uh, list is um, to do uh, patron ratings. And just like when you use Amazon and anything, you look at the stars. And I, I'm going with the top seven here. So and then I went and looked on Amazon for their top seven. And it, it pretty much lined up to this one was... Um, pretty much the best book. So I, I'm going to check it out. And I get it for uh, a month. And if the month runs over, then it'll stay in June too. So uh, here's the book. And I'm going to say borrow. Borrow title. And I get it now for 21 days. Now I'm just going to open up the book. I'm going to read it. On your tablet, um, it's going to, can you still see what's happening? Yep. yep. All right. So, um, just gonna, uh, you can then go through and um, I'm going to, uh, let's see. All right. So here's, I'm just going to hit right up here. Um, Right, that's the table of contents. Let me show you that again. See up in the corner right there, the table of contents, then it you can click on. I don't have to go page by page. So let's see, uh, training games and activities, chapter nine. So maybe that's just the one area you want to work on with your dog. And so um, here's the book. And you can read through and uh, and see it. If you want to change your text, you can change the size, you can say, change what it looks like. Um, but that's where the T is. If you want to look up something or if you want to, um, you can look up one word, it'll search the whole book for that one word. And um, if you want to bookmark that page, you can. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning of the book. And uh, let's see, I'll just go to the basics here. All right, and then from the basics, I can go through and uh, read through my book. So I'm gonna close it up here. Um, and now I'm gonna show you up here, it says My Hoopla. So I'm gonna go into My Hoopla and all right, and here are what I've checked out. So uh, right now I have um, this ebook, a little book here. I have an audio book called The Lost Girls of Paris that I'm listening to. Uh, I have another ebook right here. Down here, uh, I don't know um, uh, if anyone's heard of John uh, Fisher's He's a, a famous dog trainer. He's um, no longer with us, but the movie was really dated. So um, you get movies for three days. And um, so I was watching that movie, but it was, everyone was wearing fanny packs. And I'm thinking, 
Hey, what's wrong with fanny packs? I mean, it's okay, but everyone was wearing them. <laughs> so they keep their treats. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's it. That's probably why they all had fanny packs on. I thought, well, this must be the 80s. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Linda's back. She just went to Main Street Market. Yeah. So oh. Just, I just want to show you um, here, it, it's, it's, um, it's telling me what's recommended for you because it knows what I like. And pretty soon they'll start being, putting dog things because now this is the first time I've used it for dogs. But I've been watching the Doc Martin series and um, I'm on the last one. I think it's eight, um, but it has uh, there. And then, um, so it's just, uh, these are TV shows, movies. Uh, so you can, it's a great resource. And it, it's really nice because multiple people can check out the same item. So um, and if you can see what's up here, um, uh, they have Harry Potter ebook. I mean, they have, it's, it's a wonderful resource if you haven't discovered it. So um, I was really into it for coming up with something to help me with uh, dog training, but uh, really I like it for uh, TV shows. <laughs> That's my uh, major, uh, use of it so um is and then you get five shows and uh, again you can narrow it in different ways uh, but uh, it's a great um, resource for that uh, agatha raisin are fun so <laughs> um i'm gonna stop hoopla now and uh, any questions on hoopla anyone no, I, I'll give it a try. Yeah, give it a try. And then if you're having any troubles, just let me know. Because sometimes okay. people have trouble in the beginning. You need to go to doorcountylibrary.org. And then from there, it'll, uh, it, it, here, I'll show you. Um, and see where it says downloadable library? You click on there and it'll tell you there's Hoopla. Oh, okay. And from there, it'll have directions and, and it'll lead you to get logged on for the first time. And TC, that would be great for you too. I know you like all those British TV shows. So. Uh, I, would, I would add, um, Janine, that okay. Hoopla is having some extended offers right now too. So they have a bonus section where you can uh, select items that won't count towards your five. So be sure to check over there too. So you can have more than your five right now if you're selecting from the bonus options. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at the bonus. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. yeah, Sounds it's great. And um, so the next thing is, um, uh, I was going to show you a little video clip. Uh, are you all familiar? Well, I'm not sure. I was going to talk a little bit about Rover. Are you familiar with Rover? No. No. Not either. You're not? OK, Rover is, um, it's a social, um, it's, um, it's a babysitting service for dogs. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'm, um, I, I was a big Rover user, and I, I'm just going to go to their website, um, share my screen. Um, okay. Hmm. Can you see my um, keynote? We see you. All mm -hmm. right, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to share. Um, uh, let's see. All right. So um, I'm just going to go to the rover. So if you're interested, um, rover. Oh, spin to win. No, I don't want to spin to win. Um, <laughs> it, it's just a great. Um, what it is, is a group of people that they do charge, um, charge for babysitting or pet sitting or walking, um, anything you need in Door County. We don't have a lot of participants in Rover, but um, 
we have a few. And if I need to go somewhere and I need someone to look after my dog, I can um, use the Rover service. And it, it's just a great, I've been using it um, for about, well, since it started. And, um, and I've never had a bad experience. And then I was a Rover person. And then I decided I just want my own dog. So I, I, you know, it was okay babysitting, but I'm like, I just want my own dog. You know, I don't want all these different dogs coming into my house, but the people um, that take care of them usually have their, another dog or they just lost a dog. And um, so it's a great resource. So on here, um, I just used it. It has some great um, training tips and, um, I'm going through, uh, I, Alfie's really good at staying, but um, the sitting isn't so good. And um, so I looked at the website, I looked at, um, it's from the American Kennel Club, the video, and it, it was really good. I'm now kind of changing how I'm teaching him because I watched this video. So um, you just, this is, uh, they're, this website right here is powered by Rover. It's their blog and it's just a community resource. Even they have cat information, but um, so <laughs> it's, it's what I used um, before I, um, uh, I used this to help me get some ideas when I couldn't find anything. So I just wanted to show you that's, um, I'm, I'm a, a big, big lover of Rover. So is Rover um, pretty big in Door County? I mean, did you see that there were quite a few um, people that used well, it or is it um, kind of growing? It's growing. Um, there's, there's someone, um, well, I'm, I'm going to take my name down because now I have my own dog, but I, I was the only one in, in Northern Door. There's a lot in Sturgeon Bay. So, um, and uh, I use someone in Sturgeon Bay, and sometimes I'll use it like in, in Chicago near O'Hare. Uh, I'll find someone and, because uh, you look at reviews and then you can also do a meet and greet uh, if you need to. When I was staying with my son, I did the meet and greet and found someone in St. Paul after going through the meet and greet. So um, it, it's, and then you read reviews and, um, and it, it's just a, it's a, a, a nice, it, they're insured and um, it's just a, a good, a good deal. So um, I am going to introduce my dog. I'm going to go get Elfie. He's sound asleep, but he w he'll wake up easy. Hey, Elfie, wake up. <laughs> Okay, Elfie, want to say hi? Here's Elfie, everyone. Oh, here, I'll go get you. I, Elfie, let me see that smile. Oh. Is he, he are you awake? He's, he's how waking did you, up. <laughs> how, did you, how did you find Elfie? Elfie is through Lola's Lucky Day. It's a rescue. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. It's a rescue um, that started with a vet who went to UW Madison and then she moved to Texas and where she's a vet. And in Texas, she noticed there was a lot of, she lived in the Houston area. She noticed a lot of strays that people would move and then just leave their dogs in the backyard. And so, um, she um, is living down in Texas and she started this um, rescue where they would transport the dogs to Madison. And then in Madison, um, the, you would meet the transport and, uh, and a lot of other, she transports dogs twice a month and for other uh, rescues also. And then um, they brought the dog to me um, because of this whole quarantine thing. And so um, they brought the dog up to me. And uh, when I signed the contract, you get two weeks to decide if it's gonna work. 
And if it's not going to work, you, you can bring the dog back and you get your money back. And so what I thought was, wow, you know, I, you know, that's pretty nice. But I mean, I, I, I pretty much, he came and we already had a bed that said Elfie on it. So <laughs> she goes, I, I don't think you're going to be returning him, huh? I go, no. <laughs> so yeah, he's uh, three years old and he was a stray in Houston. And um, he's put on some weight now and um, his hair's grown back. He was really ugly in the beginning. But uh, when I, so no one, he, he was the only dog that wasn't adopted um, in the, uh, the, the shipment to um, the transport to Wisconsin. And um, because the pictures of him were so ugly, he'd been <laughs> such a mess. But now he's so cute. Aren't you? Aren't you? You gonna say anything? <laughs> He's just a cutie. Yeah. Yeah. Here, and I'll I'll introduce my dogs too. I'm trying to get my virtual background off here, but <laughs> okay. Let's see. Charlie, come. Charlie, come. They just heard my husband's car pull up, so they always get really excited and. Charity, come. Oh. Oh, oh. He, he's like, oh, there he is. Oh, oh now he's oh, just. Oh. I can't get my virtual he background off for some screen. reason. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't want to screw something up on the Zoom. Today. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> but there was Trotty, and then Lupin is her mom. So we oh. have two dogs. And, and you bred them, right? You Well, Lupin was um, Trout's mom. Okay. So we, we found a male um, that Lupin got to uh, go on a date with. It was a <laughs> long weekend. And then, um, yeah, and then we got Trouty and his parents, um, their dog was a golden that passed away. So we were able to give them a golden that had the lineage of our dog and then um also we got a puppy ourselves so perfect mm -hmm. i think two dogs is the best now yeah i uh, except when you're trying to get somebody to watch them yeah because then <laughs> his parents are wonderful they took the like our two dogs and then they had their dogs there were three dogs at their house mm -hmm. um but yeah, it's great because they are just like the best buddies and they're just always running around and playing. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Wake up, Alfie. Jill, let's hear about your dog. So I hear you're a pretty well professional dog owner. <laughs> and actually, um, let's see if I can get him back again. He's found a ball and so I'm <laughs> poodles. I don't know if you know, we're retrievers. Bred as retrievers originally. Okay. Our duck retrievers. Come here. Come here. Up here. Come on. Yes. Food always works. <laughs> mm. But um, yeah, originally, well, until I got uh, Kala, who is my four year old poodle, um, I had always got rescue dogs and things like that. But um, I was actually had trouble finding rescue dogs when when i was looking for Kala, and so i got a puppy and and things but um my dogs are really um into agility and and things like that um sailor go ahead <laughs> it's my confirmation dog but uh wasn't even planning on getting one except i went back to the original breeder and uh that Kala came from and he said well i've got a deal for you you know i've got this and if you're willing to to um, have me show him, um, and we'll just keep him intact. So I don't know. He's a funny boy, but, uh, like I said, I've been into agility and talking about dog training. Um, my original dogs, I got back in the seventies and eighties and, and dog training has changed so much. Um, and when we can get back to that, but, uh, in the seventies and eighties, you know, you put the training collars on and you jerk their heads and, and, you know, you had them stay right next to you. Where now, with with Kala and actually even uh, my previous dogs, but Kala and, and Sailor, they're into shaping 
natural behaviors now and and basically getting them to do what you want but also it's it's pretty natural for them and so um, I can talk more about that later but um, I wanted a dogs that could hike with me I wanted a dogs that would um, do kayaking with me uh, would travel with me and uh, yeah poodles poodles kind of fit the bill they're like I said, originally duck hunters, and so they like water and things. And I'm sure the golden doodle's probably in the same boat. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Nice. So tell them about how your dogs go swimming. Well, Sailor's not as, as fond of swimming because oh. um, when he was like six weeks old, they took the whole litter down to a pool and when they were working with Judy, his sister in the litter, um, he walked off the side of the pool. But he likes, he does like water and he likes splashing around with it and things like that. Um, Kala, yeah, you can't get her out of the water if you start throwing balls for her. Um, because a lot of dogs, you know, are, it has to do with their instincts and they've all been bred to do different things. And, and like I said, poodles are natural retrievers. He's like, throw the ball for me, throw the ball for me, throw the ball for me. And Kala <laughs> is definitely that way. And, and she's, you know, when I got her, I took her down to Lake Michigan in the fall. And, and yeah, she, she took to the water and, and they love to go ca kayaking with me. He falls asleep in the kayak. He's rolled off the kayak a couple more times. So that probably hasn't helped as far as <laughs> liking water either to wake up in the middle of the water. But uh, no, they, Do they have life jackets or yeah. are they, you have yeah. life jackets. Yeah. When I go kayaking, uh, they both have their personal flotation devices. Okay. And uh, yeah, yeah. So when he was a puppy and he rolled off, I would just pick him up by the little thing on the top and put him back in. He's like, okay, I guess I'll stay awake now. But <laughs> no, they just love being out on the water. Yeah. Did you used to take them down like to Appleton or something where there was a pool? I still do. Um, in the wintertime, especially if it gets too cold and I can't do um, uh, really a lot of exercise. If it's, you know, like this year wasn't too bad, but if it gets down below zero and things, it's like, oh, I don't want to do that. Um, there is a place down there where now I've got both of them registered there and I can, I think it's, uh, $35 for 45 minutes or something like that, where they have a pool, you go in, you can go in the water with them. Um, I throw, and, and it only takes a half hour to, to do like an hour and a half worth of hiking. I mean, it's a lot of work for them and it, and it, poodles are high energy and so, um, I just threw the ball again. Uh, and so, yeah, it, it really helped to keep her in shape and, and, um, yeah, he gets to the point where we all get in the water and, you know, if he wants to whine there, well, fine, he can whine and he can come in a little ways and <laughs> tough and too bad. If you want to join us, you can join us, but they have a ramp that goes up and down and, and, uh, yeah, it's great. Very warm water. Oh. Not enough chlorine to keep it disinfected but not yeah. too much chlorine stuff like that so is it like a whole dog training facility or is it just um they do more i would say dog therapy um it like i said they they do swimming there but they also i don't know if they do actu acupuncture but they will actually work with the dogs in the water and and so for a lot of dogs that can't take um can't exercise on land mm -hmm. it's, it's very good for them oh, yeah. and, well, and i think too with a with there are dogs that are afraid of water so i think that that would be a really kind of nice way to ease them in the water versus just you know the old school approach of just throwing them in, you know yeah yeah and and the old school approach doesn't work as as you can tell with him since he right. fell into the water as a puppy and is like mm, i don't know but like i said he's He's learned if he wants to be with the rest of us, then he's going to come swimming. And so he, he loves going to the shoreline now and, and getting up to his chest and, and splashing around. That's so great. It just takes time. You know, it, 
the old school approach doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So did you take them to a trainer or did you just do it all yourself? I did pretty much all of it myself. I did do the puppy training, but, okay. um, and I don't know if I can use somebody's name, but um, you can cut this out if you don't want it later on. No, but I <laughs> did a lot of <laughs> YouTubes and, and Facebooks uh, with uh, Susan Garrett and her way of doing things. And that's where they talk about shaping. And so since he was a puppy, and, and Calla was a puppy too. I did what was called, uh, originally I did what was called kennel games where they learned to, and so it became very natural um, where they learned to um, go in the, in the kennel. And then when you went to open up the kennel door, if they went to come out again, you know, they, and they got treats for going in there or plays or whatever. And um, you you basically taught them he wants to play so badly. He's like, play, mom, play, get off. <laughs> um, but he wants to, um, you have them go to the back of the kennel when you open up the door and they get a treat back there. Then they learn, you know, when you say your magic word, whether it's free or or, or okay or whatever, they come running out of the kennel and you play with them and then you don't do anything and if they run back whenever they run back into the kennel they get praises and and treats in there so they learn that the kennel is the best place in the world that's where you get fed that's where mm -hmm. all good things happen and so um and then also that way he learned when i opened up the door if i didn't tell him it was okay uh he couldn't go out and so that has transported over to going out the house or whatever so it's like I said, it's very strange uh, that it works, but it does. It, it, you kind of do the opposite thing, you know, and, and they're like, okay, I get good things if, if I do it this way. Yeah. For the rescues, they would put um, that they were crate trained. Yeah. 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 Same thing. So, yeah. Yeah. And, when I said um, kennel, it's crate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, but that's the, yeah, that's the way they, they crate train it is, is, it you know good things happen in that crate mm -hmm. yeah um i found a video that i could show of kind of a silly trick that i taught one of our dogs if you if you don't mind me showing you here yeah show show <laughs> okay all right can you see my screen yeah okay is that your dog yeah we say hold Hold, hold, we put a little piece of salami on her nose and then go, we say go, and then she eats it. Here, turn the sound on. Uh, 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 leave my foot alone. Yeah, so that was a fun little trick that she can do. Yeah, impressive. Yeah. <laughs> And if, if you get online and look at Susan Garrett, um, she has something similar where it's right choice, where um, originally I'd put food in my hand and open it up. And if he went to get it, I'd close it up, open it up, and unless I told him to get it, and then put it on the floor. And now it's, yeah, to the point where I can put treats on his paws. And unless I tell him, he can get it. So that's called right, making the right choice. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, same, yeah, same sort of thing. Yeah. And what's nice about Alfie, he likes treats, where my last dog could care less about treats. He, he, he was a picky eater, didn't like to eat. And um, so I could never reward him with a treat, you know, which is hard. It's, yeah. Treats are what they, it's a good way. And, and Calla was not into treats that much. And, but when I was doing agility with her, and the agility I do is one mind agility where you just kind of look at what you wanted them to do and do your body. But um, she was toy, toy motivated. So, you know, different dogs like different uh, things. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I have a question. I have a Min Pin whom we've had for a number of years, but we got her as a rescue. So she, they weren't sure on her age exactly, but we thought between four and six when we got her. 
And when I take her for walks, she pulls terribly, like tugs on the leash. Um, is there a way to train that out? I have the same problem. That's my main problem with uh, Coco. Uh, I can walk her uh, and there's nobody around. She'll stay right by me. As soon as she sees another dog or another person, she wants to go for them. And how do I stop that? <laughs> and, and that's just part of its distraction, you know, is in your case where, where your dog stays with you all the time. And um, I did work with a trainer back in Colorado Springs for actually my previous dog and actually Kala too. And yeah, it, that's going to be hard to train. The distraction is going to be hard to train out with, um, with the isolation, although maybe not, where I would actually take her to um, several things. One is if you're just having a problem with the pulling, and, and yes, you do have to get their attention sometimes, but, um, and it takes a lot of patience. I mean, a lot of patience with Kala it took forever, not so much this guy, where if she pulled one way, I would just go the other direction. She pulled that way, I would turn around or I'd stop and wait for them to come back to me. And, and I mean, that takes a long time and a lot of patience. So if you have a long time and a lot of patience, which the isolation is, is pretty good for that, yeah. Well, do you, guys, do you guys have harnesses for them? Har we got one of those harnesses that kind of, you know, tightens up on their leg. Like that was a little bit easier than just the collar. And I did do that for, for Cala too, because um, you don't want them to choke themselves. So I had a leash that I would attach to the collar, but my leash also had, and I haven't seen any other ones, but it's very similar to it, had a ring on it. And so I would wrap that around her chest and connect it that way and and yeah when she pulled it would it would actually kind of tighten on her chest okay but uh then also that's not you're supposed to be behaved <laughs> he's pulling on my sock he wants he loves <laughs> socks um but also then as far as the distractions go uh i'd go to like home outside of home depot or whatever and um learn how how close you could get to the people before they reacted and then kind of knew that zone and would get it shorter and shorter by, by praising them and giving them treats um, if they're treat motivated. If, if you could get them to pay attention to you and not the people going in and out of Home Depot. Okay. So, yeah. yeah but, and then jumping also, Jill, I don't know if you have any recommendations for the jumping. I mean, I've heard like, put your knee up and I've heard, you know, turn around and it's none of it works. So. Yeah. Yeah. My previous dog was horrible. Well, and this guy's not so great either, but uh, I had a dog that was a rescue dog that we got when he was about two years old. And that last one was um, soft coated Wheaton and, and Cocker mix. Um, and that was so many years ago, soft coated Wheaton's. I didn't even know what one of those was until we went to, he was so mad at his ears were attached to his body and, and we went and got him shaved and the groomers were the ones that had to say, oh, he's soft, go to Wheaton Terrier. It's like, oh, wonder what that is. But that's why I got a, used to dogs that didn't, um, didn't shed. But he was a horrible jumper, horrible. And I can't remember. Um, yeah, a lot of eh, and a lot of um, dominance things. I mean, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my own dog. Uh uh. I don't know what it is about socks in this guy. I've had to take him to the vet actually because he's eating the socks. <laughs> oh no. Oh. He'll take them right off your feet. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, look at it. I don't know. I just, uh, with this guy, as far as I'm concerned, and then my daughter too, I mean, I've gotten to the point where I've just had to grab them, you know, mid, mid jump and, and put them down. <laughs> it's like, yeah, jumping is a hard thing. So with Susan- or grab their feet when they, when they jump up, grab their feet and let, not let them go. That's another one I've heard. Mm. Uh, that didn't work with rags, but, 
But yeah, when they jump, hold the feet and say, mm, you don't get them back. And if this is what you're going to do, it got to the point where I did take a class also on what's called uh, nice to greet you. And what they did was they had you just train your dog when they see somebody coming up to sit. Mm, that's a good idea. It's a really and good idea. Actually, with with Kala, I think I, or this guy, I actually, <laughs> you're going to get put away in your pen. Uh -uh. Nope. You know I can't. Uh, come here. Down. That's it. That's enough. Um, you know um, that, yeah, you grab the paws and say, mm, you're not going to get them back. But like I said, sit and actually, that's what I was saying. Kala learned that she had to lay down because she was just so, so wiggly and, and couldn't wait to see people. Hmm. All right, so I just want to get Susan Garrett, right? Is the video yes. that, okay. Yeah. All right, because um, I, I sure would like to ch check her out. See. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and when it comes to agility, one mind is is what we go with down in, in Appleton when I go down there, <laughs> if I ever get to go down there again for agility training. And agility, what's it called again? Agility? Training, that's where... Um, Kala has actually uh, gone to trials and things, so I've really okay. been more involved with that than the than the confirmation shows, where mm -hmm. they go up and over a frames and over jumps. Mm -hmm. Oh and yeah, and stuff. So yep. yeah, that's a good teaming team building, but yeah, um, poodles are built for it. <laughs> yeah, that's keeping you busy. <laughs> yeah, it does, and and yeah, at the time, um, yeah, I lost my husband and I wanted something to, to keep my, my uh, time going and, and yeah. Yeah. Well, you found it. You found uh, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think, um, anyone else, any further questions, TC, anything? Do yeah. We I, any I have thousands of questions that I'm just beginning to get because uh, this dog is more active, I think, than any other dogs we've had. Yep, yep. A, one of my granddaughters worked at a kennels, and she said the Golden Doodles were the most rambunctious of all of the different breeds. So. <laughs> no, as far as the Doodles go, I, I really like, well, Doodles are the original Doodles, but I like the Golden Doodles, the Labradoodles, and the Cockapoos, and then all the rest that came after that is like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> But they're all hunting dogs, and so they all have very similar personalities. But I've made every mistake, and I've had every, well, I shouldn't say that. I really haven't had aggressive dogs and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> as Ryan, far as I'm, no. Ryan Heiss is trying to get into this call. Yeah. I don't know if he's, he's going to show his pooch here. He has a dog, huh? Yeah, Ruby. Ruby. Does he have a new baby yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe he'll show his baby. Oh. oh, I hear, I hear a growl. What was that? That be Sailor. He wants, he wants to play so badly. In which case, I, I do have to let out Kala, because they will. Nothing plays better with a poodle than another poodle. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, thank you, Janine. Yeah. And thanks, Joe thank and TC yeah. and Morgan. And, yeah, yeah, and check out Hoopla for yeah. anything. <laughs> It'll keep you busy during this uh, time of uh, quarantine uh, until things yeah, maybe, start opening up. Yeah, maybe after isolation is done and things get, I don't know, next year or sometime, <laughs> we can get kind of social walks going or something like sure, that. Sure, sure, I'd like that. That'd be great. And yeah. I, would in, I would invite you all, we're going to be doing um, another virtual talk tomorrow where we're going to be learning from Janine, how, getting to know RB Digital magazines. So that's another app you can use um, for free with your library card. What time is that? Two o'clock. Same time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks, Janine, for, for inviting me. Well, thanks for joining us. I'm so glad you uh, are Zooming with us. <laughs> For the first time. <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs>
Well, thanks everyone, and uh, hope to see you at another uh, program. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.